Hi guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMind Blocks. So this is an unplanned and unprepared video, um, but it is important and it's something I wanted to share with you. So I have got to buy um, Toshiba Burstcoin um, hard drives and the plot kind of just disappeared. Uh, originally the, uh, the partition got corrupted and that was quite a while ago and it was always my plan to replot it. So today I finally kind of got around to doing that job. And um, I tried putting on the uh, work through machine, I was having some problems with the CPU part. So, so I decided to take the drive out and I was going to plot it upstairs on my uh, normal home PC. So you can see I've uh, rearranged the drives here, uh, well actually unarranged them should I say. And uh, what I've noticed is um, some thermal damage. Uh, one of my hard drives has um, melted. So let me show you, uh, it's, it's not really funny actually, it's, it's, it's quite serious. Um, but let me show you uh, exactly what's going on. So all the drives were stacked like this, this sort of arrangement. Previously I had them in a line like dominoes and that worked much better. Um, but I did check them from time to time, felt the top of them and there was never, there was slightly warm on the top but never nothing too serious. But anyway, the drive was the sort of the third one in the middle, so it was right in the middle of the drives and then had another two on top of it. So it would have been this one, the equivalent of this one here um, in this stack there. Um, when I took the uh, the other two drives off, I realised that the top of it looked funny, and also that one looks a bit funny as well. But let me show you the one that I have uh, taken out. So this is the drive, and you can see there's quite some distortion on the top of it. You can make out the entire outline of the drive, so it's quite warped. And if I show you from the other angle as well, you can kind of see it's raised on that right hand uh, corner there, also. So. Uh, to the touch, it's cooled down a bit now, but when I first took it out, it was incredibly, it's literally scorching hot. I can't really describe the heat. It was hot enough to burn your hands. And there's also some warping and plastic, you can see on the reverse side, some warping there and on the bottom vents as well. So that is what I wanted to share with you. So for any of you guys, it's obviously quite a serious issue. If you are burst crayon mining, um, do not put your drives in this configuration, um, you know, otherwise you'll have the same situation as me, the drives will get damaged, melted, or possibly even a fire risk, which is the, the main concern. Just checking through and seeing what the damage is like on the other drives. So this one was the other Toshiba, which is in the other stack on the right hand side. You can see this has got some warping and it's still really hot to the touch as well. Um, the other two drives, the ones that are all, were on the top and the bottom, the two and two, um, they seem to be fine, so it's just really this middle one kind of uh, absorbed a bit like a sandwich, and that's uh, absorbed all the heat in the middle. I'm gonna check the Seagate drives now, and I'm also considering if that's what caused the failure of the Lacey drive, because that was one of the ones that was in the middle, but these have slightly better um, heat sinks on them. So just checking through and rearranging the drives, I'm going to do it all properly tomorrow uh, nicely but you can see this was one of the ones that was next to that middle one, you can see it's got a bit of warping on it so that's another Toshiba drive that's um, got some heat damage. Checking through the Seagate ones, they are, um, they seem perfectly fine, you can't really see it very well in the video, sorry about that due to the light, um, but they've got no obvious signs of any, any sort of damage on them and the Lacey drives. Uh, no damage on those um, but they've got metal aluminium casings so it's difficult to see but I did have one failure so um, yeah this uh, configuration you really need to consider your configuration properly set them up like dominoes have a good space in between them this is not a good uh, example I will be redoing the whole lot now because um, yeah that was kind of unexpected and it really needs um, to be sorted out properly um, so I will be doing that job tomorrow Okay guys, so I'm not going to go too much into it, but what I will say is that for your burst coin drives, set them up in the old configuration that I had. So set them up like dominoes, put some spaces in between them, give them plenty of airflow. Do not stack them particularly the way I had them. So I had them five high. Uh, this one was the one in the middle one, so it got hot from the top and the bottom. And that's worst case scenario. I'm going to check through the other drives and see what the situation is with those. But obviously I'm going to change the uh, configuration of them. And that's a really bad way to go. So it's lucky that I noticed and the damage wasn't more severe. It could have led to you know, fire risk and stuff like that. And that's what I want to keep you guys safe. So really, you know, learn from my experience and, and my um, mistakes. Um, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys on the next video.